Hi, it's Miss Lisa from the St. Paris Public Library. Today's Anytime Story is a nonfiction book called Arctic Foxes. This Arctic fox is hiding in a snow. Do you know where Arctic foxes live? The Arctic fox. Two eyes and a nose poke out of the snow. This funny face belongs to an Arctic fox. The Arctic fox can hide in the snow because it has white fur. The Arctic fox makes its home in the Arctic. This is how the animal gets its name. The Arctic is a part of Earth that is far north. It includes the North Pole and the Arctic Ocean. The Arctic also includes land in North America, Europe, and Asia. This Arctic fox lives in the far north of Canada. This part of North America is in the Arctic. The Arctic is covered with snow for most of the year. The Arctic is very cold. In the winter, ice and snow cover the land. In some parts of the Arctic, the ground stays frozen all year long. The frozen layer of soil is called permafrost. Arctic foxes are ready for the cold weather. They have a thick coat of fur. Their fur keeps them warm when the temperatures drop. Arctic foxes even have fur on the bottom of their feet. The fur acts like a pair of warm boots. It protects a fox's feet as it walks across the ice. This is the front paw of an Arctic fox. It is covered with fur. This fur protects the fox from the ice when it walks. The Arctic fox has small rounded ears. It has short legs too. These body parts help the, keep, the fox keep heat close to its body. They help it to stay warm in the Arctic. Arctic foxes are built for cold weather. They also have bushy tails that can cover them to help keep them warm. In winter, Arctic foxes have white fur so they blend into the snow. This makes it hard for enemies to see them. Red foxes don't blend into the snow. The Arctic fox also helps it to survive in the, the Arctic fox's coloring also helps it to survive in the Arctic. In the winter, most Arctic foxes grow a coat of white fur. This white fur acts as camouflage in the snow. The fox's coloring helps it blend into its surroundings. The fur helps Arctic foxes hide from other animals. This blue fox, fox lives on the island off the coast of Alaska. Some Arctic foxes turn gray with a hint of blue in the winter. These foxes are sometimes called blue foxes. The blue fox foxes live close to the water. In the spring, Arctic foxes molt. This means they shed their fur. New fur grows in its place. The new fur is brown. It's also short. The lighter coat keeps Arctic foxes cool in the summer months. Arctic foxes lose their warm winter fur in the spring. In the summer, their fur is darker and thinner. Arctic foxes are members of the dog family. The dog family includes wolves, coyotes, jackals, and the dogs you see in your neighborhood. This golden retriever is related to Arctic foxes. They are all part of the dog family. Like other dogs, Arctic foxes have strong teeth. These teeth are for eating meat. The dog family has strong teeth for eating meat. Members of the dog family also have good hearing and a good sense of smell. These strong senses help them find food and avoid danger. The Arctic fox is one of 21 species of foxes. A species is a group of plants or animals that have familiar features, similar features. The largest fox species is the red fox. The red fox is well known in North America and Europe. The Arctic fox is much smaller than the red fox. The Arctic fox weighs only about six to 10 pounds. That is about the size of a cat. An Arctic fox and a red fox search for food in the Arctic tundra. This Arctic fox is looking for food. What do Arctic foxes eat? Arctic fox food. Arctic foxes are always looking for food. A fox might travel near the near the water to eat seabirds, seabird eggs, baby seals, and fish. Foxes also sometimes snack on grass and berries. These foods grow in the Arctic during the summer. 
The lemming is the main food source for an Arctic fox. Lemmings are little animals that look like mice. They have small furry bodies and short tails. A lemming walks across the snow. Arctic foxes hunt lemmings for food. An Arctic fox pounces on a lemming under the snow. Lemmings hide in tunnels under the snow. The Arctic fox listens for the lemmings as they move across the tunnels. When the fox hears a lemming, it jumps up and down to break the snow. Then it pounces on the lemming to kill it. This Arctic fox caught something to eat. Arctic foxes are good hunters. They are also clever scavengers. A scavenger eats dead animals. An Arctic fox is too small to kill a walrus or a caribou, but a fox will eat a dead walrus or caribou it finds while traveling across the Arctic. Arctic foxes also follow polar bears to get meat. Polar bears kill many animals for their, for their meat. Arctic foxes wait for polar bears to eat their catch. When the polar bear is done, the Arctic fox will eat the leftovers. Arctic foxes sometimes follow polar bears. The fox waits and then steals some of the bear's catch. Arctic foxes have plenty of food in the summer. A fox may even have extra food. Arctic foxes store extra food in caches. A cache is a hiding spot. In the winter, it can be hard to find food. If the fox gets hungry in, in the winter, they can dig up the food they stored in the summer. During the summer, foxes can snack on grass and berries. Off, they often store food in the summer for the long winter ahead. Arctic foxes live in groups in the summer. Do they live in groups in the winter? Arctic fox groups. Arctic foxes live and hunt in small groups in spring and summer. This group includes a male, a female, and several children. The foxes separate at the end of summer. The male and female come back together in the spring. Some fox groups live in small areas when there is plenty of food. The area where a group of Arctic foxes lived and hunts is called a territory. Some fox groups have small territories. These foxes live in, in areas with plenty of food. They don't need to spread out to hunt. Other fox groups have large territories. These foxes live in places where food is harder to find. They must travel to do their hunting. Some territories have little food. Foxes in these territories have to travel more to find enough to eat. Arctic foxes bark to find one another in their territories. One fox calls out with a bark. The other foxes answer. The foxes exchange barks until they meet. The Arctic foxes are listening. Foxes bark to find other members of their group. This Arctic fox is prepared for danger. Foxes bark to warn other foxes of danger. Arctic foxes also bark to warn one another of danger. This bark is loud and high. It tells the other foxes to run and hide. An Arctic fox mother and her babies look around near their home. What are Arctic fox babies called? Young Arctic foxes. Baby Arctic foxes are born in early summer. Baby foxes are called cubs, kits, or pups. Baby Arctic foxes are born in dens. Dens are safe places. Some are deep holes underground. Other are, others are tunnels dug in piles of rock or wood. These Arctic fox cubs live in a den underneath some logs. Many baby foxes are born at once. A mother fox may have more than 10 babies. A group of baby foxes is called a litter. The babies in the litter are helpless at first. They can't see or hear. Both parents help raise the babies. This litter of baby foxes has at least six babies. Sometimes litters have more than 10 babies. This Arctic fox is carrying food back to its den. Both mother and father Arctic foxes feed their babies. For the first few weeks, the babies drink their mother's milk. The father goes out hunting and brings food to the den. After three weeks in the den, the young foxes are ready to explore. At first, the babies stay close to home. In a few months, they are ready to travel farther. 
their parents teach them how to hunt. Arctic fox puppies play with one another. When Arctic fox babies are old enough, they will live by themselves. The next spring, they will start a new family. The babies have their parents before winter arrives. The babies leave their parents before winter arrives. They are old enough to live on their own. They live and hunt by themselves for a while. Then they are ready to start their own families. This is a wolverine. Wolverines eat Arctic foxes. What other animals eat Arctic foxes? Danger, dangers for Arctic foxes. The Arctic fox has enemies in the wild. Golden eagles, polar bears, and wolverines will eat Arctic foxes. These animals are predators. Predators are animals that hunt and eat other animals. The Arctic fox has, another, has other animal predators too. Owls and wolves hunt Arctic foxes. A wolf will eat an Arctic fox for a snack. This is a snowy owl. Snowy owls sometimes eat Arctic fox pups. <clears throat> People are another danger for Arctic foxes. People hunt Arctic foxes for their fur. They use the fur to make coats, hats, and mittens. Some people hunt Arctic foxes for money. They sell the fur to people who make clothing for cold weather. Many factories release dirty gases into the air. These gases hurt the environment. Hunting isn't the only way that people harm the Arctic fox. They also harm the animal by hunting, by hurting its environment. People drive cars that release gases. They run factories that release gases too. Scientists say that these gases are changing Earth's temperatures. The gases are making Earth slowly grow warmer. The slow rise in Earth's temperature is known as global warming. Gases put in the air affect the temperature of the Arctic. Global warming causes some animals to leave their homes. They move to places with cooler temperatures. The red fox is one such animal. It has moved into the Arctic fox's home. Red foxes are much bigger than Arctic foxes. They take over Arctic foxes' dens. They eat Arctic foxes' food. They hurt the Arctic fox. Red foxes have moved into the same areas that Arctic foxes live in. Arctic foxes then have to find red, find, have to fight red foxes for food. Scientists want to help the Arctic fox. They study the animal to learn more about it. This way, the scientists will know how to help it. These markings in the snow are Arctic fox footprints. Scientists find Arctic foxes by tracking the footprints back to the fox. This scientist is studying the Arctic fox. The, far, the fox was given a shot so it could, would stay still. Scientists study the Arctic fox by tracking it. They attach tags to certain foxes' ears. The tags help scientists keep track of these foxes. Then the scientists can study the foxes and learn how they live. This fox is wearing a radio collar. It allows scientists to see where the fox goes. Scientists also use radio collars to track foxes. A radio collar looks like the collar you see on a dog. The collars have special instruments in them. The instruments send signals to scientists. The scientists use the signal to find the Arctic foxes. Scientists have learned a lot about Arctic foxes. Many people describe them as friendly. They are not shy around humans. They will even come close if they know you have food. You may see one if you visit the Arctic, or you can look at one at the zoo. These Arctic foxes live in a zoo in Germany. Arctic foxes. <clears throat>